normal day, normal start <laughs> to my day. I made my usual coffee, except now I'm making even more coffee because today's my album release party event. Party. I, I didn't know what to name the event. <clears throat> it's because it's not a concert, but I am playing, but it's not a concert, so it's not a concert. <laughs> So I called it a party. Maybe next time I'll have a better name. I do feel the excitement on the inside. Like I recognize that it is an unusual day, it is a special day. My online and offline worlds will be clashing in a couple hours. But I still want it to feel as normal as possible. Even though things lately have been not normal in a really good way, but just we're working out on what is the new normal. And I mean that so literally. <laughs> In 2020, 20, I can't speak. <clears throat> in 29 minutes, I am going to be having a uh, meeting that's going to be part of my new normal. <laughs> but it is absolutely not normal. Absolutely not normal. So, you know, if you decide to click away, just wanted to say thanks for clicking in, but also for listening to my album and for streaming it, for buying it, for downloading it. You have no idea what's been happening. You will have some idea on what's been going on. Very shortly. Actually, this meeting in 28 minutes will tell me exactly what's gonna happen. By the time you're seeing this video, high chance that you will all know now. <laughs> Let me put on some makeup. I'm tired, but excited, but buzzed not in a drunk way, just buzzed in, in a non-alcoholic way. <laughs> I've seen the little announcement message video that I did two days ago. This album, I know not everybody is enthusiastic about Schumann, but this album is very close to my heart and my being as a person for so many different reasons and I'll probably keep talking about different aspects of Schumann and my relationship to his music and also to his related composers. I went through hell, as my friend put it. With this project. Not for all of those 1180 something days, but for a good two-thirds of that time. Since the first day that I decided that I will do this album, so many people doubted, so many people doubted that I could do it, or that I should do it, or that I can even play the piano actually. So the fact that so many of you showed up to support, and I mean that not only the New York physical people that's coming to my event, but also to my concerts in the past, to my videos, to my, yeah, everything that you've been just following me and supporting me through the ups and downs. I know I don't make the most consistent things on the internet, but that's because I'm not a content creator, as weird as that sounds, because I am existing in the same space, but music is always number one, pianist is always number one. Well human is maybe number one and then pianist, but I just try to show you like the real aspects of what it's like to be a pianist without having to follow the rules of being a content creator or the norms, you know? I should taste test my French press for you guys. Hmm, it's not strong enough. I'm gonna make a stronger batch next. This is the most DIY thing I've done, part of my career. <laughs> and I kind of love it, not that I would want to do this for every single time, but it's like my version of baking cookies, except I'm making coffee for like. 10 people that requested coffee at the event. Oh, I just realized. Representing my alma mater in the background. And with this. <laughs> Second badge. Let's hope that this is better. Yep. Hi. Good, excited. I start prepping um, and setting up at two. Yeah, so I learned a lot about how much uh, Coke 
costs, you know, and Lacroix costs. Um, but no, I am very lucky. I can't claim that I did everything by myself because I, so I have two friends who are going to uh, set up the chairs. So I'm not the only person, but still, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's so scrappy, you know, I'm really jumping from the most scrappy to the most luxurious in a way, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do both, you know? But yeah, no, I, I think that's great. Uh, that was a meeting with my manager, my new manager, from one of the most, most top, that's not a word, one of the top classical music management agencies. That's the big secret. <laughs> it sounds like nothing that I'm saying it in a sentence to an inanimate object here, but I think it's also because it's settled in me that this is happening and it's part of my new normal, but this is something that I've been wanting for years, 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 years in terms of having support system to help me grow my career because that's how I will get to tour and do just all the things that I want to do. This was a crazy happening because I really wasn't sure, to be honest, whether there would be such a support system within the classical industry for me because I am not a conventional person. You know that, you're watching my video here. <laughs> I don't think of only in terms of fitting into a certain box of what a classical musician does. I, you know, have different things going on, like a bunch of people coming to my concerts, following what I'm doing and my work, which is amazing, which has been amazing for so many years, but there was always this kind of paradox where I am untraditional traditional because on the one hand, I have this online you, I have you. <laughs> and on the other hand, I am playing traditional classical music. I am not doing crossovers. I am not doing comedy shows. I am not doing anything unconventional on stage. I mean, I have some ideas of the types of programming I would like to do and how to make concerts experience a little bit I don't know if cooler is the right word, but maybe a little bit more unique and personal and lots and lots of industry people don't think like this usually. They want a new artist to fit in exactly what they think are the right way of doing things. And this was a struggle. But I freaked out when I got this email, this offer, the emails, the meetings that happened the past couple of days. None of you guys know this during that week, but I think I made a little preview of some things have been happening because of your support, because you've been streaming my album and you've made my music be known to the world, to everybody that includes the classical industry. I have a major management now and it's going to just be so exciting. So anytime that you have asked me if I'm playing in XYZ City, the likelihood of that being yes has just gone from 1% to much higher. Not saying that I can play in every single city right away, but this is such a big deal. I, I, I don't know if I can explain myself any further, but this is such a big deal. It's been something that I've wanted since I decided that I wanted to be a pianist that plays concerts. The wild thing about this is that my new manager has been a subscriber to my YouTube. <laughs> so it's just, uh, I don't know who is watching here, but thank you for making it possible for me to keep doing what I want to do and have wanted to do, which is play concerts plus do cool things with classical music. It is just uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. But uh, on a very normal note, I really need to eat and play a bit of piano before I head out to the event. Oh, and also brew one more cup of coffee or one more batch of coffee for you. <laughs> Maybe 
maybe to give you a sense of why this is a big deal, I'm gonna be in the same management as Yo-Yo Ma, Emmanuel Axe, Kissin, and a whole bunch of amazing top classical artists. And it means that I now have a support system for making concerts happen. And that is incredibly, incredibly major. <laughs> just hurt your ears. Most people, including myself, think of the industry as very stuffy and fixed and rigid. But finally, because of this album and because of your support over the years, one of my dreams have come true. I now have a support system who understands what I'm trying to do, who is inside the traditional classical industry but understands and appreciates and encourages what I'm doing in a non-conventional way of bringing classical music to more people through all the things that I do and they understand me and that's really, really big. I never had this kind of support, so this just phew, suddenly skyrocketed. Thank you, seriously, thank you. <laughs> and I can't wait to play for you in person and for you to see more things and now I don't have to have this existential thing inside me where I'm always like, am I okay? Am I doing things in a way that makes people understand that I'm a serious pianist, but I'm also doing casual things, but that I want to play concerts as well and do my other things. It's super exciting. So enough talk. It's all also because of this thing here. So I got to play, you know, because if I can't play, none of this makes sense. <laughs> I hope what I'm sharing today gives you some smiles, maybe, if you're happy for me, but also some encouragement because, yeah, being a musician is hard. <laughs> there is a lot of uncertainties, a lot of uncertainties, and already I'm very lucky to have your support from the beginning. But when I started first from the very beginning, the hypothesis that, hey, what if I showed more human aspect of life with classical music? Will that bring more people into classical music? Well you're watching this now and so the answer is yes and i'm looking at the numbers on streaming for my album people are excited seems like that means that i'll get to do more well okay nothing is set in stone i'm just saying aspiration this gives me more energy and confidence to do what i like to do and you know i've fought a lot for this project, this Schumann project. But I would fight the same, you know, if I suddenly decide to go into Chopin for an album or go into Bach for an album or whatever it is. You know, I will always be myself and I refuse. I refused so many times, even when I was so shaky in my confidence and in my self-esteem and everything. I mean, I, for a while, was like, am I gonna even make it to have what I want, which is have both sides, have the concerts, have the traditional side of things, and also be able to do this, talk to you guys about it, and show you, you know, what goes into classical music, and that there are actually nice people in the industry. And after some years, they landed in my email. <laughs> and things don't usually line up like this. It was an ex extraordinary circumstance. Things usually take a long time, but those numbers on my album just gave them extra confidence and enthusiasm and excitement. So it's all because of you guys. And 
everybody else beyond our subscribers here, this little YouTube family. Everybody else has just listened. And in part, of course, to the few people that stuck around in my life telling me, keep going, keep going. You are on the right track. Just keep believing in yourself. You will find these people eventually who will support you. So I wouldn't be here without them also, but also without you guys. Oh, it's gonna be a very emotional day. It's not a big deal <laughs> in the same way when you're watching this on YouTube, but as a person, I'm just telling you as a person, it's a big deal. Like when I start out as a pianist, as a piano student, let's go there. What you aspire to is of course, win competitions and get management because a lot of times that is part of the first prize or the first three prizes of a competition. I'm not a competition player and I, you know, want to spend time building audiences for classical music, which is very strange for many people, especially six years ago, to see the industry change and to see people who are willing to change and evolve and innovate together. It's very special. So shout out to you, AH <laughs> and my new manager. Things don't usually line up so quickly. And even though introductions get made, it's not always successful and fast, which I love. I love efficiency because things change very quickly. <laughs> Aren't you glad when you no longer have to fight that's the feeling. No more fighting. I really can be myself. That's ultimately <laughs> the feeling I have right now from this news. I'm still driven though. Don't get me wrong. Just because I'm not fighting internally with people, not, not literally fighting, but you know, this paradox of being stuck in the middle and not having the recognition for what I'm doing from the traditional industry. That fight is over, finally, after years of tears and confusion and heartbreaks and depression. I really went through so many roller coasters. False starts, not having replies for six months or ever. <laughs> so I just hope you're excited and that you are excited to see me do more music. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. No, I'm not. Coffee. <laughs> right here at the blue building. Uh, right here.
my album came out on Friday. And, uh, <laughs> 